Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a second test weathering video. I was happy with how the last locomotive came out, but wanted to practice on a second one before moving to the Dash 9. Also, there were a few things that I wanted to either improve upon or add to this video. One was I wanted to do a better job in actually masking the locomotive. When I took the tape off of the last locomotive, I realized that I had had just a bit too much on the windshields and it caused some shiny spots on the hood of the locomotive. And so I made sure to do a better job on the masking of this one. The second thing is I wanted to do a little bit better in describing what I'm doing in the video. I received some feedback about that and want to improve. Lastly, I'm going to be editing the video slightly differently as another test in of itself to see how that works out. So without a, with that out of the way, let's get going to the weathering. To start off, I removed the wheel sets and copper strips from the locomotive to keep them clean and also sprayed a dull coat onto the locomotive. For the painting, I started with a base coat of paint. For this, I used a mix of some cheap craft paint, desert sand, and trail tan to give it a light dirt sand color. I then diluted it with distilled water for use in the airbrush. At this point, I wanted to add some further color to the trucks as reference pictures were showing that the trucks seemed to have a darker rust color. I added some brown iron oxide to the paint cup on the airbrush and mixed accordingly. To help out, I also took some extra cardstock that I had and cut a template for the trucks to help with overspray. I also made sure to start spraying on the cardstock to ensure an even spray onto the trucks. I then added some color to the bottom of the fuel tank and did some touch up onto the trucks. Here I added some black to the mix to add some color to the top of the locomotive and some light misting around the rest of it to help blend it together. When double checking, I noticed there was a clean spot that needed some color behind the cap. And of course, I got a little too close and a little too impatient and added a bit too much color to it. But when I added a little bit more to blend it out and adding some to the other side of the locomotive, I think it turned out to look pretty good. I noticed the trucks had become faded and needed a bit more color to be correct comparing it to the reference photo. In the reference photos that I'd looked at of the SD70 Max, it seemed that above the logo and the yellow striping there was always rust and a lot of the times it was ended up going down to the primer. 
To mimic that, I started with brown iron oxide and applied it going off of the reference. Allowing that color to dry, I then painted the various exhaust grills black. I went back and added a gray color to the rust spots to simulate the primer. On the fuel tank, I also did a few drip lines, but unfortunately, they turned out to be just a tad too big. I thought this brush that I was using was going to be small enough, but it wasn't. I did end up finding a smaller brush that I've used on the Dash 9, and it looks much better, and we'll be using that going forward.
On the top of the locomotive, I added some black to the exhaust, then added two burn spots. To simulate these, I started with the brown iron oxide, then added a layer of black, and finished it with some white to make the black turn into a gray color to simulate the primer. Lastly, I did a black wash on the truck frames to give them just a hair bit more color. Once that was dry, I did a final dough coat over the entire locomotive, reassembled it once it was dry, and took it down to the layout. I hope this was a useful video, and I'll end it with some layout running of both weathered SD70 Max that I have weathered so far.